Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about software update, updating to the latest version of your iOS. And especially if you have some issues or problems updating, you get an error message or something like that. Here are some tips and tricks how to solve those problems. First of all, let's go into settings and in the general section, here you have the software update as the second one. If you go into that one, you will see which latest version of the iOS it is willing to install on your device. And you will also have some details about how much space it will need. This one needs 1.7 gigabytes of storage on your device to be able to update your device. So. It is always a good idea to check if you have enough space available on your device. So I go into my iPad storage and in here you will get a lot of details about how much storage you have used, how much is available for the download and things like that. So make sure you have enough space available and even more than the 1.7 gigabytes because I always recommend to have at least three or four gigabytes of free space. So in this case, I would say have at least five gigabytes of data available for this download. Let's go back to the software update. In here, you can see we have a link to the update. There you can get a lot of uh, details about what is going to be installed and how what has Apple been able to fix. Uh, since the latest version that has been released. Down here, we can also get some more information about the update. What is that is the top points that Apple has talked about. But down underneath that, we have the download and install. And right now I'm able to click that one and get the download started. But for example, if you didn't have your Wi-Fi enabled, you wouldn't be able to download it. It is now grayed out and it says this update requires Wi-Fi network connection. So it is of course important to be connected to your Wi-Fi and, and have an internet connection available. And now you can see after I enabled my Wi-Fi again, the download and install is ready. But if you have trouble with your Wi-Fi, go into your Wi-Fi, try to disconnect connect again if it's necessary you can also forget your network on the network settings forget this network and try to connect again and of course the last thing as i always say it is always a good idea if you have any issues with your ipad in this case the software update please do a reboot of your device that can solve a lot of problems so do a reboot of your device but again let's go into the software update and now i will click the download and install you will need to put in your passcode and after you have done that the download will start getting down to your device and now you can see you get a small progress bar here and how much space and it also says a bit about how much time it needs to download this update. And actually the download is put on your device. And if you go into your iPad storage again, at some point when the download is ready, you will be able to see it in the list. So this is actually all already available. You can see here, I have the iPad iOS 16.4.1. It is now being downloaded and you can see the progress bar over here. It actually counts how much space it is using and you can see it is going up all the time. So this is a good sign that now the update is actually being downloaded to my device. One of the things that is a recommendation if you're having issues 
when you have downloaded this uh, update and it is not really installing or you have some issues, the recommendation is to go into the update here and there is not much to do beneath you have the delete update so you will be able to de uh, delete this update so if you have any issues with the latest update and it is not installing you are not getting it all uh, the full size of it the download down to your device then go into the storage and go into this specific update and delete the update and try again to do download and up and install the update so that is a good way of solving this is to delete the update from your device under the storage so let's go into the software again and in here we should be able to see how far it is with the update and now you can see it is saying preparing the update so now the software is checking all the setup I have on my iPad any specific things it needs to be aware of and needs to be taken into account when it needs to be updating. So you can see again, you get a progress bar preparing the update and it is checking for a lot of different configuration settings on my device. But in this section of the update, you will be able to get an error message saying up unable to check for update that could be a reason where you are not having an internet connection you can restart your router but it can also be on the other side at apple's side their software servers are not able to give you the update that it you are asking the servers for so sometimes my apple can actually have issues with their servers and that is not something you can do anything about then just wait a day or two and then try again and see if it is able to do the installation and getting the update installed. You can also get an up unavailable to install update and that could be a lot of different reasons on your specific device that is not able to install the update and there as I just talked about, I would definitely go for the iPad stories or the iPhone stories and go in in the list and find the update. And in here, delete the update from your device and try and download the update once again. So let's see, it is still uh, preparing the update. So when it's ready to go, I will get right back to you. Now that the, the preparation has been done, after five minutes, it is now ready to be installed. But again, as you can see on my screen here, the install now is grayed out. And underneath it says this update requires at least 50% of battery. So if your battery as mine is below 50, you need to plug it in to some power and I have a power cable right here so let's me plug it in and as you can see it is now ready for install update and you get this small pop-up you can either install it now you can install it later or get some more details so make sure when you do an update of your ios that at least you have the device plugged into some power cable or you will have more than 50% battery on your device. So let's uh, hit the button and say install now. You will get this small pop-up, very fine update. And this should only take a few seconds. And it is now that you will be able to get these error messages, especially the one on able to install update. And there you need to either delete the update or do a reboot of your device. That is at least my experience and recommendation. That is what you need. So now, as you can see, you see the Apple logo 
and you see the small progress bar down here and now it is actually updating my iPad and uh, this can take uh, at least five to ten minutes to be done so uh, I will get back to you when my device has been updated. So now when the progress bar is all the way through and the update has been installed your iPad will restart and uh, you will get this small message saying software update your iPad has been updated to the latest version and then the version number so this is the end of the update and uh, if you go into your iPad again and uh, go into settings again go into general and software update you will see this error message and there is no download or installation available anymore and it says which version that has been updated or installed on your iPad and you will see iPad iOS is up to date so you have the latest version. So I hope that you found some good tips and tricks how to resolve your issues with your software update. Make sure to be on Wi-Fi check your storage, make sure to reboot your device if you're not able to uh, update the downloaded version. And if it's necessary, try and go into your storage, delete the software update and delete it and try and download it again. And of course, make sure you have enough battery or at least your device is plugged into the power cable so you have a the available uh, power on your device. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. If you have any questions, put them in the comment sections and I will get back to you as fast as possible. Have a nice day.